First there were two, then there were four. Now there's six, at least for the next 24 hours while we try to climb to Colorado's highest peak. Mount Ebert is one of 58 mountain peaks in Colorado reaching heights above 14,000 feet, also known as 14ers. This peak in particular sits at 14,400 feet, which actually makes it Colorado's highest point. And that is precisely why we wanted to climb it with our dogs. See this right here? We'll catch him in the act. He is eating some sort of buried food. It could be poop. It's this. It's like a fruit roll up. Go, go, get out of there. We have to sleep next to you guys tonight and you're covered in dirt. Look at this fantastic camp spot. We got right outside the trailhead. Can you see the third dog hiding underneath the van there? That's Luna. So we're about like a half mile off the trailhead for Mount Ebert. Now the plan is to start super early, wake up at 3 a.m. and get hiking by 4 a.m. You wanna start early because there's the possibility of thunderstorms and like inclement weather towards the middle and end of the day. So you wanna like get up and summit, you know, before 11 or noon and then get back down at least to tree line before anything comes in. Because once you pass tree line, which I think is like 11,600 feet here in Colorado, uh, the conditions change quite drastically. So now we're gonna take some time to pack up our gear, our packs, and figure out what we're gonna wear for our layers and then eat some dinner and get to bed. Tomorrow, because it's so much elevation, I might get hot and I'll unzip it, but I don't think I ever want to be in short sleeves. Like, it's 30 degrees, so. I brought a tank top and then a sweatshirt. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> I also brought shorts. <laughs> okay, we have to pack our day packs for the hike tomorrow. Uh, we got stuff like a gator, because it's really windy and cold at the top, gloves, hat, emergency bandages, stuff like that. But no snow, so it'll Walkie be lighter. Walkie-talkies, yeah. All the safety stuff, that's it. <laughs> okay, so here's Brenda, she's yeah, trying she's... to hide. She's you probably actively... haven't seen her this whole time. <laughs> this is my sister, in case no one knew. We've done a lot of things together, but she's usually not in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got camera stuff as well. So we've got our GoPro stuff. This is our B cam that looked like shit last time, so hopefully it looks better. Then we got our Garmin, then we got our walkies, because sometimes I speed walk and I get in trouble for it. So <laughs> we need ways to stay in contact with each other. And then of course, headlamps, because we're starting at the butt crack of dawn. And we're bringing a trash bag. Cause what kind playing. of trash bag is that? It's green. Yeah, it's a biodegradable trash bag that uh, disintegrates before you can throw it away. Shh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> Cool. Okay, that's Layers, okay, trekking here. poles, yep. bags, okay. water. Let's go, Lou. Emerald Lake. Go, really, go. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Go! Go, very go. This is from filming horses. This is, uh, Ben has a new meth addiction. Tomorrow we're headed up there. We think. We think. Who knows? So how do you feel tomorrow wise? I still think it's gonna be hard for me just cause I'm not like completely in shape and I just am slow. I'm yeah. a slow hiker. I'm gonna go with just the idea that I'll do terribly. That way if I don't, I'm like really excited. But if I go into it thinking I'm gonna kick ass and I'm shit at it, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> I am excited that my sister's doing it with me though because we move at about the same pace. Brenda has never done a 14er. This will be her first one. Yeah. So it's exciting. All right, <laughs> feeling good. Dinner time. Now it's time to eat. Okay. They're beefing up, Rocky's already ready. They're getting in them calories. A big right. hike tomorrow. We are eating tacos and uh, mac and cheese, <laughs> little carbies. Chips also. What is that? Chips. Uh, <laughs> <sized> chips. <laughs> what is uh, a yip? <laughs> Up into the trees. You have to wait, dirt ball. Oh, you. Oh. Oh, look at him. Oh, Gee, 
Jeez, it's moldy. <laughs> yeah. It's dinner. Tacos. And a show with a dirty little screen. I can see every finger mark. <laughs> can you? <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> mm hmm All right. There you go. When you live in a van, you have to conserve your water, so. This is what we call pre-rinsing. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for, what, three hours and really rolled in a dead animal and he stanks like something ungodly. <laughs> so he's getting a sponge bath, like an old person who can't get out of bed. Here you go. Watch your Look at this. Hi. Can you lie down? <laughs> turn, turn, turn around. In the flare. <laughs> She's in the flare. Here you go. Dun, dun, dun. Excellent Look, the projector's working. <laughs> Not perfect fit. That's my sister. <laughs> Everybody's getting going to bed. You can't stretch my feet out. No. <laughs> All right. Going to bed at 10 o'clock and getting up at 3. What? So <laughs> we're going to sleep for like four hours, if that. Oh no. It's terrible. Get out of here. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and so it begins. You're making a really weird face. You are making a I took too big of a mouthful. So we're drinking protein shakes for our breakfast here. Uh, the dogs have gotten their half full it's about 338 so we need to leave here in like what 20 minutes yep but we're all packed up and probably pretty tired how do you feel <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to climb this mountain no we've already heard a couple cars go by yeah, so other people are it's a monday moves. and people are out there already so this is it yeah we're gonna leave the van here and take brenda's car so we're gonna grab our gear and pile in. Blair Witch. Ooh. I don't know what that is. All right, we're ready to go. We got her little bandana. So the trail is supposedly nine and a half miles. We did see that some people commented that they clocked it longer, like 10.2. And then it's about 4,500 feet in elevation. We're hoping to get to the top in about five hours. And back to the car at one o'clock. Brenda's already <laughs> dropping layers. And I still have three layers on, one including a puffy and another including a wool. We're related. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a trip counter. How many times everyone trips? I'm at one. I saw Ben trip, so Ben is already at one as well. <laughs> I have not tripped yet. All right, let's go. I just tripped. We've hit just over a mile. We've passed two groups, but we're doing good. We've gone 500 feet in elevation. All right, Rock, you're doing good. Make sure to guide them. This is a momentous occasion because ah! we're in front of Ben. <laughs> we are the leaders, only because he stopped to take his coat off. Okay. We're almost at two miles. Taking a quick water break. Julia's having a hard time articulating things. It's getting steep. <laughs> All right, back to it. So we're hitting hard spots of elevation, but yeah, it's tough. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. So we're climbing these steps and they're horrendous. How far ahead are you? <sighs> I stopped at somewhat of a topping point. We gotta be getting close to tree line, I feel. So we got up the first like two miles pretty quickly. But now we're at like two, two, three, four, five, probably at two and a half miles now. And the last three miles are just gonna be a nightmare, I feel. Killed your headlamps? Took them off. Yeah, you can see without them. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> I can breathe okay. Yeah. I just feel like my legs are already crapping out. Yeah. They're tired. It's a lot of elevation. Sun's coming up. A little bit of sunset. Sunrise, goofball. Sunrise. Woo! 
sun's starting to come up and we're almost at tree line you can tell it started kind of opening up a lot yeah you can see the tree tops they're getting closer and closer there it is we're headed up there so far so good no more headlamp we're gonna clear the trees like in a couple hundred feet and then on our way to the summit we got more steps now you guys don't even know you can't feel it most people don't even live at the elevation we're gonna climb moving slow the mosquitoes are so bad you like can't stop but that was like our second little burst of woods and uh, that might be it at the top of tree line now. Pretty steep. How's it? Eh, it's not as bad as I was thinking. Not I'm yet. Not sure. ah! I feel like I'm going nowhere. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Nah. And I get cold. <laughs> I get cold so easy. She'll probably be like that, but I'm gonna put my shell on. Hey. Rock. Get it. So there's some people up here. We've been hiking along with this guy, but all the way up there, there's a little dot. Ooh, that's a person. How's it going, Rail? How's it going? There it is. Coming over. He's gonna attack. <sighs> Princess Luna on her throne with her jester Yureli. How you doing up there? Good. Can you see all the dogs? Uh-huh. Just kidding, I can too. How's it going? Good, we're definitely slowing down. Yeah. We've gone 3.4 miles and it's almost two hours now. Okay. Uh, as far as elevation goes, we got quite a bit to go. 2,000 feet? Yeah. So this last stretch is We've done be... half of it. Now we gotta do the rest. In way less the distance. Half the distance. So. It's gonna, be rough. it's gonna be rough. I feel okay. I feel good. I mean, I'm I'm t I'm tired a little bit, but I'm not like out of breath. My legs haven't like totally kaputs on me yet. But compared to the one we did in Flagstaff, Humphreys, oh, yeah. I actually feel much better, yeah. stamina wise. And it's beautiful. I it mean, is. this is like a very nice trail. Open mountains surrounding you everywhere, and the weather's good. Little wildflowers. Yeah. Deers. Deer. Deer. <laughs> Deers. The sun's coming up nice. It's just like very peaceful. Yeah. And the skeeters can't be up here anymore. We ditched the bugs. <sighs> Feels good. It's starting to get windy. Treated dogs. <laughs> Rock! Rock! What are you doing, dude? Frodo and Samwise Genji make their way to the top of Mount Doom. We're on the last mile. And man, I'm fudge and wiped. Brenda asked me why we like doing this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said about the first one I did. It's rough. Pretty sure this is the first fall summit. We've got about a thousand feet of elevation to go. And we've passed everybody up but one guy, that one guy. We got this. Oh man, it's hard. Doing good, Rails. Pretty little wildfires. Ben now has both dogs. A little rough. You guys ready? Let's go. Go on. Go on. Good job. For a pack. That's right. We're gonna get up in together. This part is really getting fun. We are very high. Here we are all down there. I want to be the first one to the top today. Another false summit. There's the real one. Ah, oh, everyone's down there. I'm going for it. Let's go, boys. First one today. Going across the ridge. This is it. This is it. 
we did it guys. Yeah. We did it. And you guys here are with me. This is the highest point I've ever been. And I came up with my dogs. And we're the first ones up today and I'm getting all teary. For us. We did it. We did it. We made it. Highest point in Colorado. We, we did it. Fucking With did our it, dogs. Man. <laughs> the dogs. This is the highest the dogs have ever been. The and the highest we've ever, we've ever been. Ever yeah. been. Yeah. Now we're gonna go down and eat some grub before I pass out or barf. <laughs> During the hike, Brenda asked why we do this. Bye, Mount Ebert. And I can only assume she meant, why do we do overly strenuous activities that feel miserable the majority of the time? All right, Ben, what are you doing now? I'm throwing on my old man brace. Old man brace. And after sitting and going through all this footage, I think the majority of the enjoyment I get in life comes from doing difficult things. I mean, I guess it's all about growth. You know, when you accomplish a goal that's challenging, you usually learn a lot in the process. You're expanding your capabilities, not only of your mind, but your body, and ultimately you grow in character. It's rough going downhill on all the joints. Yeah, especially being dragged by the dogs. I think the basic idea is that if it comes easily, then where's the growth? Made we made it! <laughs> the growth really comes from the struggle and the failure and the perseverance. We did a total of 10.05 miles in 7 hours and 22 minutes. Not bad. With elevation gain of 4,483 feet. Average pace was 33 minutes a mile. That's not your car. And even though it may seem miserable, it really isn't for me. And I know I'm not the only person who feels that way. I definitely feel miserable. <laughs> Exhausted and miserable when we're doing it. But when I get to the top, I do have a lot of pride that even though it was miserable and I probably wanted to give up multiple times, I do stick it out and finish it. I might not be cheery, but I don't give up. And that gives me a lot of confidence to try the next difficult thing and the next. And the more I do, the braver I get, I think. Until we become superheroes of some sort. But all that aside, the only reason we're able to do these fun adventures that we've been up to is through the support, not only from our friends and family, but also all of our Patreon members and one-time donors, because we're very poor and it does cost money to be brave sometimes. And as a final reminder, we sprinkled it in a little bit on the last video, but we are gonna be taking this adventure content over to its own channel, still called Out There, but that way we can revert this channel back to Dog Cat Man Van and leave it as a build source. So keep your eyes open for that migration in August. And that's it. That's it. See you guys on uh, the next one. See ya. We're at 11.5. Yeah, so 100 more feet. And we're about to... Oh, I'm so sorry. You farted. And, uh, <laughs> what happened? She, she had the altitudes. <laughs> the altitudes. She crop dusted Ben. Yeah. <laughs> she got him. She did apologize, though. Yeah.